In England, an actor is never in the movies. He's on the film. And he's not in vaudeville, he's on the halls. Top man among comedians on the halls this week is Stanley Holloway, who is with us tonight. Mr. Holloway is the originator of an act widely copied on the air in America last season. Those Lancashire or North of England dialect stories about Albert Ramsbottom and Sam, the old soldier. He has a brand new Sam story for us tonight, one never broadcast here or in the States. The title, Sam and the Sturgeon. This is your Stanley Holloway. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Rudy. And my very best regards to Broadway. Oh, then you've been to New York, too, Mr. Holloway. Ooh, rather, yes. Beastly place. One can't get a decent cup of tea anywhere, or coffee either, for that matter. <laughs> I'm sure Sam wouldn't like it. Incidentally, about the verses I'm planning to howl madly across the Atlantic tonight, perhaps I should explain that the sturgeon in England is known as the king's fish. All the sturgeon traditionally belong to the king. Of course, no one ever does anything about it anymore, but that's the theory. The king owns all the sturgeon and the, uh, and the caviar too, I suppose. Anyhow, here's the story of Sam and the king's sturgeon. <laughs> Sam Small were fishing in the canal, at least so runs the tale. He hadn't had a bite all day, and not to suck but ale. When all at once his fishing line went rushing out like mud. By gum, cried Sam, I've got a bite. And so by gum he had. He tugged and tugged and better tugged. His line, it rose and sank. Then fish gave one last dying gasp and flop stone dead on bank. Just then a policeman bustled up on feet both large and flat. He looked at Sam, he looked at fish, and said, Eee, you done that. <laughs> it, it's just the sort of fish, said Sam, I'm taking home to tea. That not, said policeman, that that not. It don't belong to thee. It's what they call a sturgeon, Sam. That fish belongs to King. So take it up to Palace, lad, as fast as anything. Sam stooped and picked the sturgeon up, well knowing who was boss. Then ran to the station where he bought two tickets for King's Cross. When Sam reached London town, the crowd raised a cheering cry. The traffic parted left and right to let that sturgeon by. The palace sentry, ought he like, said, What might be your wish? But when he saw what Sam had brought, he cried, Chris, royal fish. Sam knocked at the door and servant girl said, Step inside the hall. The king and queen is out, says she. But not to be Sam Small. And so with sturgeon in his arms, Sam tramped up corridor. He trailed along some passages and knocked at parlour door. Come in, says King. So Sam went in with royal fish and all. Why, dash me buttons, cries the King, if it isn't old Sam Small. <laughs> That's me, says Sam, and here's a fish our policeman said were thine. A sturgeon caught in ship canal with rod and hook and line. Well, well, says King, come sit thee down. Thou must be fair done up. We just were going to have our stays. Thou stay and have a soup. Thanks, King, says Sam, and takes a seat with fish upon his knee. Nay, put that thing on sofa, Sam, says King, and have thy tea. Now, what about this fish, asks Sam? But King, he whispers low, I'm going to tell thee so much, Sam, but don't let policemen know. I hate to show ingratitude, and please don't think me mean. But I never did like sturgeon, Sam. Nor come to that, does Queen. To eat the stuff we ate so much, well, Sam, we find it hard. So we hand them to the Chamberlain, who stacks them in the backyard. Just they look out at window, Sam, and see where sturgeons go. 
some looking job and saw them all in thousands in a row. It's champion see and thee again, but some twixt me and thee. I can't stand stagings, but I love the tipper to me tea. Now fancy that, says Sam. By gum, why them's my favourite fish. And then the Queen came smiling in with chippers on the dish. You know, Sam Small, my dear, says King. Queen says, oh, okay, yes. Just touch the bell. I tell we Jean to bring more watercress. Think on, says King, when tea were done and Sam got up to go. Chippers is what I like for tea. But don't let policemen know. So Sam went home to Lancashire and said a silent prayer with blessings on the kippered fish. Long live the royal pair. <laughs> <laughs>